In the 2017-2 Schrodinger release, a number of enhancements and new features have been introduced. Since the introduction of Maestro 11, the custom R-group enumeration panel has allowed for quick and easy R-group enumeration of ligands, where one simply selects the attachment points on a workspace ligand to define the R-groups, and then chooses one of the default fragment collection or R-group libraries to use for the enumeration. Now, in the 2017-2 release, users can more easily create and choose their own R-group libraries with the R-group creator panel. Here, users can explore and manage the R-group structures in their libraries, as well as choose to create new libraries with new R-groups. For example, the sketcher can be used to quickly sketch and add new R-groups. Alternatively, Smarts patterns can be used to help auto-generate R-groups from a collection of ligands or fragments. In this example, we have a collection of hydrazine building block reagents. So firstly, the Smarts pattern that makes up the bond to be broken is defined, i.e. the hydrazine pattern. And then, exactly how the R-group is defined is done by specifying the bond's leaving atom in the Smarts pattern, i.e. the atom that is part of the structure that will be discarded and specifying the attachment atom, that is, the atom that is part of the structure that will form the R-group. Once defined, the new R-groups can be easily added to any user-generated library. Various scientific enhancements have been made to macrocycle modelling. Over in Glide Ligand Docking, macrocycle ring sampling has been fully integrated as a new option. Selecting this enables a macrocycle-specific protocol to more accurately and quickly dock macrocycles. While over in FEP+, the relative affinity of congeneric macrocycles, or non-macrocyclic compounds, can now be compared even when the difference is in the ring or through the creation of the ring. Enhancements to usability have also been made, such as over in PLDB. Here, the sketcher allows for the faster setup of geometric searches with residues, Simply mouse over a residue blob and start typing the three-letter code to quickly specify the residue. Finally, over in NIME, AutoQSAR nodes are now available, allowing for the quick setup of AutoQSAR workflows with the same settings as those exposed in Maestro. These are just a handful of the new features in the 2017-2 Schrodinger release. As always, the complete lists of all previous enhancements and features can be found at schrodinger.com new features.